Mike, that's your foster brother? Are you foster brothers? <gasps> Alright, I'll be right there. Alright, stay there. Buckled in. We all buckled in. I know we gotta get buckled in. All right. Hi guys. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. This is Tiffany. 100 plus. I am here at Southeast Veterinary Neurology picking up Mario a little bit late. Traffic was terrible because of the rain down here. But as you can see, hi, hi, I missed you. Your foster brother missed you today too. Hi, baby. I didn't get him coming out of uh, the hospital today because, again, it is uh, raining and it is nasty out. So I just jumped out and grabbed him and then, of course, he had to do his business before the long drive home in this terrible weather that we're having. But he, um, let me turn down the radio. So he did um, really well with his treatment today. Um, I spoke to Dr. Adams this morning um, after I dropped him off and Dr. Adams examined him um, and he decided to up his Cytosar dosage again this time. Um, if you remember three weeks ago, because he had relapsed, we increased it from 200 to 250 milligrams over the um, seven to eight hour time span. Um, this time around, he did increase it again. He increased it to 300. And we're gonna see if at 300, um, if at that dosage, we can keep him even keel for the entire three weeks. That is the hope, is that um, he will be good, you know, the entire three week period up until his next infusion. So I am hoping and praying that that increase will do just that and we will get um, three good weeks this week or this, this three weeks, sorry. Um, so that is the hope. We did not touch his pred at all. He is going to stay on the same dosage of prednisone um, at least for this week. Um, Dr. Adams wants to see his CBC next Tuesday. Well, actually next Wednesday because by the time they send it out, it comes back Wednesday morning. Um, so next Wednesday, he'll take a look at his CBC and decide whether or not we can drop his pred. That's the first thing we'll have to decide when he sees his CBC. The second thing he'll have to decide is whether or not the 300 is too high of a dose for his body to be able to handle. 
um, you know, because it could start affecting things like his bone marrow and um, stuff like that. So that's all stuff that he will see on the CBC. And I asked him if um, he would see those changes that quick at, at the week mark. And he said it's possible. It's more of like a trending thing. So we may have to see if there's changes the coming week and then the, and then the next round to make a decision um, whether or not it's too much or he can handle it just fine. He did say he had another patient. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? What you doing, mister? Hey, mister. He did say he um, had another patient there that is on um, a slightly higher dose than, than the 300, and they're handling it well. So he is optimistic that Mario will be able to handle it well.
loves putting his head on my shoulder when we drive. But he is seat belted in. Um, so, sorry, I just completely lost my train of thought. But thank you guys again um, for all your continued love and support. Thank you for your prayers for Mario. Thank you so much, everybody that donated for his treatment today and his ongoing medical care because it is an ongoing expense. Um, you know, we had to pay for his treatment today. Next Tuesday, we have to pay for his trip to the vet visit and the blood draw on the CBC and the chem. Um, and then two weeks after that, we're back here doing it all over again, paying for this. A week after that, back to the normal vet for the CBC chem. So it is a constant medical or, you know, medical management and, and a constant cost for our organization. I just had to go pick up more prednisone today from from Publix for him. Um, he's almost out of his den of Marin, so we'll have to pay for that. So, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to say thank you again so, so very much for everybody that did donate and continues to donate for him so that we can do this for him and give him the best life that we can.